Hello friends, welcome to the new Poplars Resort website. Today I'm going to show you how to change or confirm your reservation and how to pay your deposit online. So you're going to navigate to book your stay anywhere on our website. It'll always be here in the navigation bar on the top right hand corner. Or you can go directly to the URL poplarsresort.com slash reservation. So this is assuming you've already created an account. If you'd like instructions on how to do so, I have another video on that. Otherwise, you can just create the account here and follow the prompts. So I have an account and I'm going to sign in. If you've received a letter in the mail, you will have um, a booking ID. So you're going to navigate to your, your bookings here. You're going to find your name in the upper right hand corner here, click on that. You'll see all the booking codes that are associated with your account here. Scroll down to the one that matches the booking code. You should only have one. Or if you have multiple trip books, you'll have booking codes for each of them. I'm going to click on this. You'll see that the status up here says proposed booking. I confirm that all this information that we have on file is correct for you. And now I'm going to verify my dates. So I have Ward Hall number six booked from June 1st to June 8th for two people. Okay, I'm going to alter this booking. I'm going to edit this booking. Um, I like the dates. I'm going to add another room because so I'm going to be a group of four now. So I'm going to add a room. I'm going to select chalet. And these are the rooms that are available for my time frame. So I'll select ward hall number seven. This will automatically fill in the correct dates of June 1st to 8th, but I'm just going to check that and make sure that's all correct. And save. So now I have it noted that I've booked two rooms, Word 6 and Word 7. I'm bringing one boat. It's going to be a big boat for four people. And then that's all saved already. Now, If I need to alter any of the uh, contact information that's on file, that's under Booking Form. I'm go in here, change something. Perhaps we're going to arrive in time for lunch. Um, maybe I need to add a food allergy and then click Save. I'm going to go back here. So now my booking is updated. I am going to pay my deposit online. I'm going to click this link here, Pay Deposit. It'll take you to a secure booking page. Enter your credit card number. Expiration date. and the validation code, which is the three-digit code on the back of your card here. Also note that we can now accept uh, Discover cards. So we accept Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. I don't recommend selecting Save Card for Future Payments. So we're going to pay the deposit of $500 Canadian, which is equal to $125 Canadian per guest, or that's approximately $100 US per guest. So once this is processed, we'll notice that our status has changed to deposit paid. And we will have also received an email uh, with an updated invoice. So we can print receipt now. This will pop up and we can print a copy. Or we can return back to Poplar's Resort to come.